Uh, welcome back, <laughs> Ziggy Dine Show. Today, Jared drinks a whole cup of pee on camera. All right. Ah! Woo! Is that how we do it? Oh! 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 All right. Sorry, it's been a long day. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Juicy Nut Show. Today, we are going over best inventions that need to happen. They haven't been invented yet, but they're needing to happen. <laughs> they're good. So. We're gonna look and see what you guys did. We went to Facebook and asked you and you answered. If you want to answer and possibly be in a future video, go to the Facebook page right now, link in the description, and uh, answer some questions yeah. that we ask over there. All right, first one comes from Sam Leonard. He says, a Pringle can big enough for the average human hand to reach the bottom. I agree with this. this solid. I mean, it seems fair. I seems agree like a, with this. Seems like a fair thing to ask of Pringles. <laughs> maybe the people who made it just had really small hands. Right. Or so maybe this I, is perfect. I feel like it's just a novelty at this point that if they change their design, like they're like worried. Like, what if we change it and everyone's like, what the fuck is this thing? This is right. Pringles. Yeah. I can fit my hand in this. That, everyone's going to complain about it. <laughs> it's just fucking perfect hand size all the way down. All right. Tyron Dare says, GPS tracking for guitar picks. That genius. Uh, is yeah. very genius. Multi-billion dollar idea. They right will there. sometimes land 10 feet away from you. Yeah, like, it's ridiculous. It's I'll drop it and forever. find it on the stairs. It's just, like It's just weird how the, any of that thing works. You're like, you'll drop it, you'll no, have dude, eyes on it, and then it's just like... Dude, I've seen I've seen it. Uh, one time I dropped my pick, and I seen it happen. Like, <laughs> I saw the little wizard it happen. No, them. No, it literally fell, and it bounced a couple times, and then it fucking rolled. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it rolled like on itself and just like went like way over and just like, like underneath something. You're just like, what? yeah, because it just clicks and clacks on shit as it falls and then right. it just like, like where, did, where did it go? Yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's in New York. Yeah, for real. Marty Fowler Fowler says a lawnmower that chops grass into liquid. I just thought it was a funny like why why <laughs> like, yeah what's like, the what, benefit? It's just that? gonna well maybe to mow not, not mow but maybe to like water the grass after you mow it with itself. I, I guess. It would just be liquid grass. <laughs> well, I mean, the compost is what, you know, like, if you don't bag it, the compost that comes out helps grow. Yeah, but it also, if there's too much of it, it'll just rot. It's and not. Dude, it's well, just then, soaked But in, then, like, I was going to say, goo. the entire time you're mowing, your shoes are getting fucked. Yeah, just soak like, your shoes in grass. You have goo. to be going in rubber boots. Yeah, you're fucking, yeah, your whole yard's going to have footprints from the goo. <laughs> right. I just... What's the benefit of that? I don't know. It's pretty funny, though. Leave I mean, a I'd... comment, let us know what your initial <laughs> thought was for that. Patrick Kapika says Half Life Three. One day. Or Left for Dead Three would be nice. One day Valve will make third. Fucking, fucking. <laughs> One day. Yeah, seriously. Maybe, probably not though. Chase Dumig says a self guitar winder, so you can stand across the room as the guitar winds new strings, so you're not having a fucking panic attack about losing an eye. <laughs> it's like bomb diffusing. It's like yeah, well, I'm pretty sure that uh, I I know there are guitars that they self tune, so I don't know if they tunes like wines from you know a new string, but it, it will like you set it to like right. standard or drop A or whatever you want yeah, to tune to, and it goes back and it's like <laughs> yeah. But it, so is he not talking about restringing a guitar? Because that's kind of how I was like initially and restringing. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, right. Carter mm. Drebenstead says an app that tells you exactly where bathrooms are in a public place when you have the Hershey squirts. Or just in general. I just think it'd be a good probably a good idea. That that would actually be really good. Yeah. I, I want, I'm going to take it a step further and say bathrooms or like it'll tell you where bathrooms are that only have a, like a one person. Oh, no, like, you could like specify. Yeah, because because like on tour and shit, there are some gross ass bathrooms and half the stalls don't have doors. Yeah, and it's just like I want a or bathroom. Chain link fence. Yeah, like a Starbucks bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you go in nice. there, you lock the door, you have your. Your space oh, for so you five did, minutes. You want a Starbucks app, is what you're saying. Basically, yeah. Yeah, just give me a Starbucks <laughs> app. Troy Higgin, teleportation because fuck traffic. Ain't that right, Austin? <laughs> fuck traffic. Fuck traffic. I like that that's like the only, that's the main reason. Yeah. You want teleportation. Right, no no other traffic. reason other than that. Just <laughs> traffic, traffic sucks. Oh, can't stand it. Adam Beck, Dickie Dines bobbleheads. <clears throat> I mean, I'd be about it. I'd buy a Dickie Dines bobblehead. I would, I'm about it. If you're the maker of bobbleheads, yeah, hit us up. Let us hit know. Us up. Up. <laughs> Get us some custom bobbles. That'd be sick, actually. Sydney Rocks, a uh, Ziploc bag and a cereal box. I think it's been a long time coming. I just, I'm just i mad that her name rhymes with what she said. Sydney oh, Rocks, right. Ziploc bag and a cereal box. <laughs> I'm about, like, like some start, obscure like, rapper. <laughs> yeah, like, right? Like, that's funny as fuck. I mean, oh, but I think man. it is about time. I mean, yeah. yeah like, obviously, there's yeah. that cheap off-brand cereal that has that pretend Ziploc bag yeah. where it's like, just squish it together. Sometimes right. it works, but 
Come on, cereal. Yeah, what <laughs> Why are you, you shooting doing? Ziploc? We're all in 2018 and cereal is still in the 60s. Yeah, what the hell? BJ Janicek. <laughs> lawnmower shoes for when it gets water yeah, everywhere. Yeah, for when you guys skate on them. You wear the lawnmower shoes. Exactly. <laughs> oh, wait, so... I just, just, just dawned on me. So when he's saying lawnmower shoes, as in like a pair that's like, it's lawnmower proof. Or I see the way I thought it was like too many lawnmowers on oh, the bottom of his shoes that oh. were like Heelys. That he could, I, like, didn't, I, I didn't yard. think of that. That's what I thought of until you said what you said. And I was like, oh wait, it's just a type of shoe. Yeah. It's wall, like lawnmower proof. But <laughs> but I saw too many lawnmowers under this I love the, the dude, difference like, of how our brains work. That's so <laughs> right. funny. Like that would be intense. That'd be, be, intense. be pretty fucking cool though. Lawnmower it shoes. It's like, like mm, I fuck with that. Uh, Sylvain Nano Delahaye says a Dickie Dines app that wakes you up every day with some dank memes or random jokes. Uh, if you want to go ahead and subscribe down to the YouTube channel, <laughs> yeah. I'll turn on that bell notification. I was going to say. app right there for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get that fucking notify whenever your videos go up. Kieran Rossiter says the cold wave. It's like a microwave, but instead of heating things up, it makes them cold like beer. So like a fast freezer. Right, like insta-freeze, like, oh, like now my flash, drink is chilled. Flash freezing, right. basically. Like if you had a drink and it got warm, yeah. and then you're like, oh, I wish this was cold now, yeah. but you didn't have ice. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> the only other competition you'll ever have is ice. <laughs> right. Literally water. Yeah, so, maybe work I mean, on the name, because it's, yeah. it's to be implied that the opposite would be that micro means like heat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe, right. I don't know, we have to come up with a better name for this. <laughs> Uh, Cassie Tig, 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 Tiggy says, ooh, <laughs> a meme Polaroid. You shoot it at someone and it prints out a meme for their personality. That's designed specifically to you. <laughs> yeah, you dude. Just, that'd be funny too if it was like you take a picture of somebody and it's like a really bad meme. Yeah. And you're just like, ooh, I don't know if you we know can be friends be, anymore. Dude, honestly, what could be very easily done, I, I probably shouldn't even say it on camera because if we did it, it would probably be pretty cool. But an app where you just take a picture of someone and it makes, makes it them into, into a meme. A, like a really good meme. It's yeah, probably spend really like, hard. <laughs> we'd probably know. spend weeks writing these memes out, like right. just writing like 10,000 uh -huh. different like top bottom or whatever. Right, you just know? classic top bottom. Yeah, text. classic top bottom memes and then just take a picture and then it just auto does a meme. That'd be cool. Just get one at random, yeah. ran randomly generated meme device. And you could, do it, you could do it for free and then you could just have like the 99 cent Packages like get the extra dank God. memes, extra dank the not memes. safe for work memes, <laughs> different expansions, late night memes. Yeah, Joshua Edward Patterson, a cheese grater that grates your cheese for you, or Keurig for kombucha. I'm digging the Keurig, <laughs> Keurig for kombucha, boy. That yeah. sounds pretty tight. I'm pretty sure they actually do make cheese graters that grate your cheese for you. Do they? It's called an electric cheese grater. I've never seen an electric cheese. Yeah, grater. I'm, I'm a, Nicole's parents have one. It's. I mean, it's you still have to have some manual effort, but it's yeah. it's it's, it's you, turn, like you turn it, it on and, and then it, it's like a handheld thing. Yeah. You turn it on, you put the cheese in it, and then there's like a wedge that you push the cheese down, oh, okay. and, it, and then it forces it onto the blade. Interesting. And then it shreds it, so it, it does do it itself, but you still have to like oh, okay. do some work. But I mean, okay. it's it's still a lot different from fucking knuckle grindings. You right. Know, a metal right, sheet. Right. Right. Very interesting. Jaden Chanteau says a sword that turns into a propane grill. Need I explain why? It's pretty bold crossover cotton. Let's see if it works out for him. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> it's so weird. I don't get the. Is he referencing something? I don't like, think so. Like, I was like, maybe it's a King of the Hill reference, yeah. but I don't really know. But I just thought it would be interesting to, like, if you showed up camping and you had a yeah, sword, sword and they're like, why, is that what you brought? Right. Like, Check this out. You like stab it like, the ground, it's just like a fucking grill, and you're like, oh, all right, cool, I guess. The new sword grill. <laughs> it's, it's like a 50-pound sword. Right, yeah, it has it's the like, same mass. Dude. Yeah. They gotta use the Ant-Man technology. Uh, D Daniel Cornejo says, portal technology to effort effortlessly suck your own dick. Portal tech, so you would portal your mouth to your dick? No, so like the game portal. So like you shoot a portal here and then there. So like if oh. you, I think it's like, yeah, you'd like... Shoot a portal down at the bottom and then up here, and then you could put your head through the wall and suck your own dick through oh, the bottom. So it'd be I like see. your head would be like down here, but you'd be here, <laughs> like detached. That's a that's a long time inventing that just to suck your own dick. Yeah, I mean, there's tons of other fun things you could do, but sucking your own dick's just right at the top. <laughs> exactly of the list. for Mr. Daniel. First thing you gotta do. Felix Mendoza, stage bong. Two pedals, one for lighting up the bowl, the other to help clear the bong, a cut-off wedge below the bowl. Depending on the instrument you play, they'll come in different sizes. So, so, so like two pedals. Outlandish and weird. So you have a bong on stage that's connected to two pedals. Yeah, a very and large so bong. So you hit a pedal and it lights it, and then the other one clears it. Like cuts it off so you can like, hit it. Okay. I would assume. I got you. 
Yeah. I mean, if you're if you're in sleep, maybe. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Great. If you have time for that. Yeah, I was gonna say if you're gonna if you're in a doom metal band. For real. Right? If you have a, a breakdown that's just China, just like hits, and you're yeah. like, okay, I got ten seconds where I can cough my lungs out. Right. <laughs> during Chelsea, Chelsea Grin's set, and like, dun 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 <laughs> dun. <laughs> 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 Uh, the only problem is, I mean, obviously you can't really smoke weed on most stages, so that's true. It'd be a very niche market for you, but keep the dream yeah. alive. <laughs> keep, keep fucking grinding, buddy. Tom Price. I, I said, why did I say Price like that? Did you hear that? No. I was like, Tom Price. <laughs> Come on down. Yeah, Come Tom on down, Tom Price. Thomason Price. <laughs> a dream downloader. Oh, dude. Yeah. Great idea. A device that records your dreams as you sleep and plays them back to you with helpful suggestions as to what it could mean. Upload it and share the good dreams with your friends. I would be down. Yeah, that'd be a great idea. Somebody There's probably a lot it. that you wouldn't want to upload right. and share. Just, but, yeah, if you um, have the choice to edit them or something, like upload your dreams to Adobe. Right, <laughs> right. Edit them down. I always thought it'd be cool to have something where, like, every time you blinked, it would take a, a like like a screenshot mm -hmm. of your day, and then when you sleep, you basically do like you you can like go through that and like. If something weird happens or something like strange, you could just you, like, revisit, revisit it, it and kind of like learn how to like you would have better coped with that. That's weird. That's yeah, cool. You know that's, that'd saying? be cool as fuck though. That's yeah, really interesting. Exactly. Huh. Yeah, and you could use it to solve like murder mystery cases because yeah. you would like go back into his memory. Yeah, and exactly. Like, oh, it's, I can see. It's it like it's like a black it. mirror. Thing, right. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Exactly. Crocodile kind of. Uh, Alex Thomason says spherical wheels on cars. So parallel parking can just be driving sideways into a spot. Oh, I see what so you're like saying. So it's like omnidirectional wheels. Okay, so it's yeah. like a ball as opposed to an axis. I would imagine learning to drive that would be insane. I was, You'd have I, to yeah, have was, like three or four different like things right. you're controlling. I imagine it kind of like... Like, if you wanted to use that without, you know, like, if you could turn it off, kind of. Yeah, so like, like a button. Yeah, so it's, like, normal driving, and then you and then get up to your parking spot, and then you're, like, omnidirectional, and then it just go yeah, like, shifts, shifts sideways. Shifts your wheels, and then you can drive, yeah. yeah. That's that's not a bad idea. Or just learn how to parallel park. Uh, Eric Brun Brunner says, <laughs> Nintendo ass. This Nin dude has, he was up late. Like, <laughs> one this is a good one. This one's pretty funny. Uh, Nintendo automatic sex simulator, <laughs> available for all genders and comes with motion sensors for all parts of the body and an optional custom-made robo-mate for ex extra realism. Provides an easy-to-grasp training program, single multiplayer campaign, and competition <laughs> mode. Completion of the game will give you enough skill and confidence to make any partner lose their fucking mind with you. Well, don't they already have VR like sex simulator? Yeah, he's talking about like full in-depth games. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like the whole adventure of the game is is like imagine the Legend of Zelda, but where every boss where you, you have, have to, to fuck, fuck everything. Yeah, you have yeah. to you have to coerce and fuck them. Right, after you and beat each them. one gets harder to make come <laughs> yeah. like, as it goes down. <laughs> the come difficulty rises. <laughs> yeah. As the game progresses. Come for cool Oh, God. That's so funny. I also appreciated that he kept putting cum in everything. Yeah, he right. He's, like, selling it. Yeah. He's, he's doing an ad. Michael Gordon, a terabyte iPod or iPhone. You know how fucking expensive that would be? It would be. But that'd be it's, sick as fuck. Yeah, but terabyte who, who even uses the 256 gigs? Well, t uh, if I could, I would fucking would. Oh, like, the, all the old music. Like, you remember the big-ass iPods? Like, 160 gigs? But, like, 256 gigs. gigs. Yeah, if you had the, I mean, if you had the, like, option to. Like, why not? That's a lot. I don't know if you... If, well, even, you don't even need to anymore. I mean, that was, like, that would have been sick yeah. 10 years ago. I was like, we just have streaming platforms right. now. So, it's yeah. like... It sounds sick, but yeah, saying it out loud, I'm like, I guess I could just use Spotify yeah, and right. playlist. I don't need 3,000 songs. Right, right yeah, yeah. Uh, Trevor Bradbury, an electric lighter that uses power from the battery of your cell phone. My battery dies fast enough as it is. See, I was wondering about I don't that, know. but it'd be pretty quick, I would imagine. Like, you just have it with you, like... I yeah. Just around you, plug in your phone into flight real quick, and then take it out. Right, just... like like maybe a little port that you plug in. Yeah, exactly. Your, like just something you click your, and then light, yeah. and then take back out, and just be like, all right, that was all I needed from that. I feel like you would start seeing lots of iPhones blowing up. <laughs> right, <laughs> you it's know, too from, much power. Yeah, Stop. exactly. It's way too much. Um, Andy Rubio says kombucha that doesn't taste like shit. This is this is oh <laughs> this is a <laughs> fighting words right there, man. You dirty dick. Okay, son tell bitch. tell them what the best tasting kombuchas are. All right, we got hum, right? Hum's great. They got a lot of fruity flavors. If you're not looking for that vinegary taste, we got the boo. 
the boo is a great one. They got honeydew, they got some lavender. Kavita, I'm not super huge on their kombucha, but their sparkling probiotic drinks are quite good. See, I'm the opposite. Oh, you like the I, I like the probiotic Kavita's not, or uh, no, not the sparkling ones. No, you, you I like the regular the, ones. Interesting, yeah. I don't, the sparkling I don't, ones are weird to me. I don't like the carbonation on the Kavita kombucha See, ones. See, I don't like the There's, carbonation on the probiotic ones. That's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's but really what, weird. I like the Synergy brand. I like Synergy too. Synergy is yeah. also good. The one. Mythical Mango doesn't Ooh. taste anything vinegary. That it's, one's really good. It's, it's, it's juice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's beginner kombucha. Taste. Beginner booch. And that's all we have <laughs> for <laughs> today. Yeah, unintentional booch ad. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much uh, for for watching this. Leave a comment and let us know what invention you think should be invented. Yeah, Austin. thanks for being here, peeps. We thanks appreciate for being it. Here. Thanks for leaving yeah. and thanks for coming back. Fuck off. <laughs>